Hello guys, this is Sam. Today we are going to learn about creating a custom context menu in JavaScript. We can easily refer it as custom right click menu in JS because some of the people are not aware of this term context menu. Let me create a new directory here. This is the 13th video in this series and an HTML document. Let me save it inside this directory and my HTML snippet title. Before we proceed, uh, let me plan what all the things need to be taken care. So let me add in the another list. Okay, the first one is we need to add an event listener for the right click event. Okay, first point is add an event listener. And the second point is disabling the default behavior of the right click menu. When we right click on the mouse, the browser will show some default options. We need to stop it from the def default behavior. So the second point is disable default behavior. And third point is designing the context menu using HTML tags and CSS styles. So third point is design context menu. And fourth point is show the menu when the right click happens at the position exactly where the mouse point is clicked. So simply we can say fourth point is show the context menu. And fifth is we need to hide the menu when the mouse is clicked outside the context menu. So hide context menu on mouse click. Hide on mouse click okay and we need to hide it on escape key okay so these are all the six points we need to take in care okay let's do it guys let me create a new div element here okay class equal to container I'm going to add event listener here on context menu equal to show context menu okay the first point is taken care of now point two disabling the default behavior of the right click event let me open this page in the browser now I'm clicking the right button on the mouse it's showing the menu with back forward reload options and so on and we need to stop it from showing this. The context menu is added to the container div. So the specified method will be invoked only when you right click on this container. Let me add some background color to this container to see how much space it is occupied in the page. Okay, let me add some styles here. Let me check this. As you can see, nothing is reflected here. This is because we didn't specify the height for this container. Let me define height. Where is that? Let me define height as 100 pixel. Okay. Okay. Now it's reflected. Let me change the height from 100 pixel to 100 percentage. Let me tell you one thing. If you check this on the browser, it won't work yes because it will get the under percentage height from its parent element now its parent is body actually the height of the body element is auto that is undefined so what we are telling the browser is take the under percentage height of the body site which is actually undefined so browser will not do anything for that we need to specify the height for the parent element too don't forget it has one more parent called html so we need to include that also. So what I'm going to do here is HTML body it is hundred percentage. I can add container also here. Let me remove this line. Yes. As you can see, some space is there. 
This is because each and every browser will render the page elements in its own way. In order to centralize it, I'm resetting the margin and uh, margin and bottom. Margin equal to zero and uh, padding equal to zero. For your for your web projects, you consider using reset CSS or modernizer for the cross browser uh, cross cross browser compatibility. Okay, let me let me set a font for the body font family with you know font size ten pixel. Okay, everything looks good. Let me define a show custom menu in the javascript where i'm going to add here i'm going to add sorry this is context menu, not custom menu show context menu no arguments okay what i'm going to do here is i'm going to return false here actually this is how we disable the right click menu but when we check this out on the browser still it will show the default context menu let me check this yes because we simply assign the value false instead of returning false to this on, on context menu so in order to return the value to the on context menu we need to add a return statement here so now what will happen is it will return false to on, on context menu so that the event will be disabled so the point two is also taken care and the third point is designing the context menu yes third one is designing the context menu let me take this unordered list and place it inside the yes and i'm going to add one more uh, div element here actually this is going to be your context menu Let me let me organize this code. Let me add one more li here. It is going to act as a separator. Sorry. Okay. Now it's time to add some CSS styles for this elements. Context. Sorry, not this. Context menu. With two hundred pixel height auto remember whenever the new item is added to the menu the height will be adjusted automatically so we don't we don't need to care about this and box shadow this is horizontal shadow i don't want horizontal shadow vertical shadow blur and spread sorry this is this is blur This is spread, and this is color. Position absolute. It's very important to set its position to absolute because this menu should be placed exactly where your mouse pointer clicked. We used unordered list for the menu. By default, it will show the list with bullet points. In order to remove those bullets, context menu UL. So list style equal to none. So this will stop showing the bullet points. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add padding for the whole another list. Okay, padding five pixel zero pixel five pixel zero pixel. I'm just adding padding to the top and to the bottom. Yes. Now. Context menu you will LA. Okay. Let me add some padding. This is top, right, and this is bottom, and this is left. And I'm going to add a border for the left side. Four pixel solid. And cursor to pointer. Let's add over effect for this on context menu ULLA 
वो है सो यू वांट टू चेंज द बैकग्राउंड कलर एंड बॉर्डर लेफ्ट फोर पिक्सल सॉलिड एंड कलर टू ट्रिपल सिक्स लेट्स चेक इट Yeah, it looks good, but we forgot to add a uh, add the styles to separator class. Let's do it quickly. Height is one pixel instead of instead of showing this much uh, big uh, separator. I'm going to have a height of one pixel and background color to the the the. Okay, margin two pixel, zero pixel, two pixel, zero pixel. I'm just sitting top and bottom, and we need to exclude these tiles for the separator class. So I'm sorry. Okay, it's done now. Let's check it out quickly. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, by default, this context menu will be hidden. For that, I'm going to add display and property here. Okay, so the point four is show the menu when the right click happened. Let's access this element in JS. Where context menu equal to document dot get relevant by id context menu. Remember that the context menu is hidden by default. In order to make it visible, context menu dot style dot display equal to block. So this will show the context menu. It's not only about just showing the menu. We should show where the mouse pointer clicked. So, context menu dot style dot left equal to. So we need to pass an event here. Event. Event dot plain text. Don't forget to give this pixel. And we have to do the same for top position, top, and this should be R Y. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's working properly. Now we need to hide this when the option is clicked. Okay, so let me do this. Window. Let me add it here. On click, I'm going to call this method hide context menu. Let me define the function here. Hide context menu, no event. And in order to hide that context menu dot style dot display equal to none. So this will hide the context menu. Not only that, I handle the mouse click. I want to handle the escape key also. Let me add one more event listener here. Window dot on key press sorry on key down equal to listen keys. Okay, let me add it here. In some browsers, even dot which. This property will give us the key code of the key which is pressed. In some in some browsers, even dot key code will give us the key code. To handle cross browser, I'm going to do where key code equal to even dot which or even dot sorry even dot key code. If key code equal to twenty seven. The twenty-seven is the key code for the escape key. So twenty-seven. What I'm going to do here is hide context menu. 
yes it's time to test okay now I'm, I pressed escape key again it's opening I clicked on mouse now our custom context menu is ready what are you waiting for you can go and design your own context menu for your web projects you can download the source uh, source file from the description right below this video please feel free to put your comments in the below comment section and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to get the notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching this video take care bye bye